Amen. Come on, let's give God praise, give God glory on this blessed Sunday morning, being able to come back to the house of worship, to lift up the name of Jesus. God is truly worthy to be praised, worthy to be magnified, worthy to be exalted on this morning. We thank him for all the many blessings he bestowed upon us and what he keep on doing for us over and over and over again. He's an awesome God, and he's truly worthy to be praised. Amen. I say he's worthy to be praised. Amen. We welcome you to the Greater Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church located 3835 Whitewater Road right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. Amen. We'll be lifting up the name of Jesus and thank him for all the many blessings he has bestowed upon us. At this time, we're going to ask, amen, that our minister, Marcella McCaga, will come, amen, and lead us in our opening prayer on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Let's set our spirits right on this morning. Hallelujah to glorify him. Hallelujah because he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah. He woke us up this morning. Hallelujah, that's enough to give him praise. Hallelujah, that's enough to magnify his name. That's enough to just exalt who he is. Because he is God. He is God. He is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we come in your son Jesus' name. Lord, we come giving you glory and honor this morning. God, we come exalting your name, God. We come lifting you up, God, because you are worthy, Lord. Oh, God, we glorify you on this morning. We give you thanks this morning, God, for all that you have done for us. And, Lord, we welcome you this morning. Oh, God, come in and have your way, God. Let your presence, hallelujah, take over, God. Oh, God, let us feel your presence in this place, Lord. Have your way this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, look down upon each and every one of us, God. Look down upon those that's on their way, God. Oh, God, some of us come for one reason and some for another, God. But, Lord, you know our hearts, God. Oh, God, we're here, God. Oh, God, we're here this morning, God. Have your way, God. Pour into our spirits on this morning, God. Help us to get just what we came for. Don't let us leave the same way we came in God but Lord we speak change on this morning God a change God shift the atmosphere God come in God and take over this morning God Lord we need you this morning God we need your Holy Spirit God we can't do nothing without you God so Lord come in and shift the atmosphere God be glorified on this morning God have your way God oh God let us worship you God in spirit and in truth God God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we bless you on this morning. We thank you for being right where we need to be on this morning, God. Oh God, have your way, God. Get rid of those things, God, that's not like you, God. Convict our heart, God. Forgive us of all our sin that we've committed, God, by word, deed, and thought, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way, God. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this place, God. We speak change. We speak love, God. We speak peace, God. We speak joy, God. We bind everything that's not like you, God. We loose everything that's not like you, God. Have your way in this place. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and put them hands together this morning. Oh, I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. He said, Peace on your sins and be baptized. He said, Peace on your sins and be baptized. Oh, I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. 
came to tell you what he must say. I came to tell what he must say. He said, Bring up your sins and be baptized. He said, What he I came to tell you. What he He said, Make a way. I know he will. Tell 
God all about. Somebody came to tell him this morning. Oh, did you come to tell him this morning? Did you come to tell him? You got to repent of your sins and be baptized. Oh, God is a good God. Oh, somebody came to praise God this morning. Somebody came to praise God this morning. All you got to do is tell him all about it. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. Let the Lord have his way this morning. Just let him have his way. Let him have his way. For if it had not been for the Lord on our side, tell me today, where would we be? Hallelujah. Let him have his way. Let him have his way. Don't nobody know but you, but let him have his way. Let him have his way. Yeah, Lord. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. He's pouring out his spirit. He's pouring out his blessing. Come on and give God some praise. Yeah. Woo. Ooh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God is doing a new thing, church. And just let him have his way, have his way in your life. Hallelujah. We give honor to God because protocol has already been set. God was in this place and we got here and he's still in this place and we thank you. We thank you. We give honor to God, to our pastor, our first ladies, our ministers on the roster and everybody in their respective places. We say good morning, Calvary. We thank God for being here. We thank God for blessing us. Oh, when God blesses, it's just like a miracle that's coming down. Oh, has anybody got a woo this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Let me get on with these announcements. Because I feel God all in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. We want to say happy birthday again to everybody who's celebrating this month of February. We pray that God is richly blessing each and every one of you. We want to say thank you so much to those of you that were able to come out on yesterday to uh, our grandmother. We're going to say our grandmother because that's family. Mother Edith Coxfield homegoing celebration. Sister Hogan and Brother Edwards and the family says it warmed their hearts to see you all and to please know that they will forever be grateful to our church family because that's what families do. We support each other and we want to thank everybody for doing just that. Around the country, people pause to remember those who lost their lives on the anniversary of the 9-11 attack, vowing to never forget. Many found solace in 9-11 quotes and 9-11 memorial quotes. This year on the 21st anniversary of the September 11th tragedy, remember and reflect with this powerful 9 quote. Even the smallest act of service, the simplest act of kindness, is a way to honor those we lost. 
a way to reclaim that spirit of unity that followed 9-1-1, President Barack Obama in a 2011 radio address. Today we will have Mount Calvary's Children's Church uh, at our, our in-person service this morning for our pre-K to fifth grades and for middle to high school grades. We're asking that our youth exit the sanctuary after the praise team next song selection. On Monday, September the 12th, 2022 at 7 p.m., we're asking all of the single ministry, the purity ministry, the kitchen and the kitchen ministries to join us in a conference call planning meeting for our September Spotlight Wednesday Night Live service. Please join them by dialing the number 701-802-5337 and the access code 683-1205 and the pound sign. It's time for the revival. It's time for revival. It's time for revival within our hearts. Dear pastor and congregation, Peyton AME Church, will be in revival on Tuesday and Wednesday, September 20th through 21st, beginning at 7 p.m. The guest revivalist will be the Reverend Felicia Wisdom, pastor of the Hosanna Baptist Church in Lake Park, Georgia. And those of you who can, please go out and support them in this revival. It's that we are now getting back to things that are a little bit normal. You know, we are used to revivals, and there's a lot of things that we have missed, but God is putting everything in place again. No matter what virus is out there wandering around, God is still in control. God is still in control. Don't forget that Mr. and Mrs. Lee Baynard request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Leah Maison, to Chadwick Lamont. He is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Calvin Muse. Saturday, the 24th of September, 2022, 2 o'clock in the afternoon here at the Greater Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church. Now, and don't forget, don't forget, please don't forget that on Sunday, September the 25th, we will be celebrating our pastor and our first lady's 13th anniversary here at Calvary. We are asking everybody for a $40 contribution. You, we have envelopes that have been placed outside that you can put it in. Make your checks payable to Dr. Charles E. Vincent Sr. Uh, to those who are listening to us live online, you have the opportunity to give on the app Givelify, or you can go to www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash giving, and we will truly appreciate your support. We want to support this man and woman of God because they have been a blessing to Calvary, and we want to be a blessing to them. Our thought for the month, again, as I said, every day has a new beginning. Take a deep breath, smile, and begin again. God woke you up today for a reason. Trust in his plan, his timing is perfect, and he will always make a way. Thank you. Somebody ask me how I made it, made it this far, said it was Jesus, he was pulling me.
Feel him wrap his arm all around me. I don't know about you and you, but I know for myself it was Jesus that was pulling me through. Yes, it was. Oh, can you say Jesus? Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Jesus, oh Jesus, 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 oh Jesus, he was pulling me Amen. Clap them hands all over the house of the Lord. Give him praise and give him glory. Amen. At this time, we exit all our youth will exit the sanctuary. All our youth, amen, will exit the sanctuary from grades pre-K to fifth grade, middle school to high school for our children's church at this time. Amen. It will proceed, amen, to your amen assigned sections during this time. Let's give God praise for our young people on this morning. Amen. To God be the glory for the things that he has done and the things that he continues to do. He's an awesome God, and he's truly worthy to be praised. Amen. We give God the praise and give him the glory and give him the glad. It's glad. How many glad to be in the house of the Lord on this morning? Amen. God has been good to us. And well, we ought to be glad about it. Amen. Amen. Glad about what the Lord is doing. We honor God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit on this morning. Amen to the minister of staff here at Calvary, Minister Holmes, amen, Minister Mike Dougal, amen, Minister Cephas, Minister McCargo, Minister Sheraton, and to their spouses, amen, too. Glad to have with us, amen, on this morning, my very own son, my eldest son, amen, Minister Eddie Williams and his family with us on this morning, his wife with us on this morning, amen. To my lovely wife, Lady Evelyn Diane Vincent, to our Deacon, Deacon as mother, saints, and friends, we're just glad to have all of you here in the house of the Lord. Just one, a uh, couple of verses of scripture on this morning. St. Matthew, the fourth chapter, and verse number one. St. Matthew 4 and 1. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Glad to see Deacon and Sister Cook back with us on this morning as well. Amen. Amen. Glad to have, amen, Sister Acacia Smith all the way from South Carolina. Amen. With us on this morning as well. St. Matthew, amen. Fourth chapter, verse number one. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. When he had fasted forty days and forty nights, that he was afterward in hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth, amen, out of the mouth of God. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor on this blessed Sunday morning. God, you've been good to us. God, you've been kind to us. You've been gracious unto us. And for that, we say thank you this morning. Thank you for another day's journey. Thank you that our eyes came open and saw a brand new day that we had never seen before. Thank you, Father that you brought us all week long to this present time. Thank you that we had a mind to come and worship. Thank you for the place to worship. Thank you for the place called Mount Calvary on this morning to give your name to praise and give your name to glory. And Father, we thank you that our coming will not be in vain, but God give us a word that we stand in the need of. God give me preaching and teaching power. Keep me near the cross. Bless us in a mighty way, God. And we'll give your name to praise, we'll give your name to glory. Dip us down to your power and your anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen. Clap the hand of your love the Lord on this morning. Amen. God has been good to us, and he's been kind to us. Amen. For the last few Sundays, amen, I've been talking, amen, what I, amen, didn't know I was going that way, but it become a series. Amen. Amen. But amen. To God be the glory. But uh, a few Sundays ago, I preached long story short. Sometimes all you need is your praise. And then on last Sunday, I talked with you, amen, long story short. Sometimes all you need, anybody remember? Y'all don't forget, amen. <laughs> all you need, I ain't hear nobody. Amen, says so amen, say amen, a little prayer. Amen, say a little prayer. Amen, thank you. I, I'm glad somebody was listening, amen. And then on today, I want to talk with you from this subject on this morning. Long story short. Sometimes all you need is one word from the Lord. 
Amen. Sometimes all you need is one word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. In Matthew, he says in verse number four, but he answered and said unto you, it's written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by, every, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. See, all, I don't care how many people tell you no, but all you need God is just tell you yes one time. Amen. I don't care how many people say you can't do it, but all you need is one word from the Lord right. that can change the equation of your situation and your circumstance. I stopped by to tell you this morning, Minister Sheridan, that God is no respecter of person. His word works for everyone. I say his word works for everyone. And the word of God reminds us in Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of God is quick woo, and powerful, yeah, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing, piercing, even the dividing sunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. In other words, that word can get in there. Amen. And it is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So you need to hear this this morning. God's word is quick. It is powerful. It is sharper. It is piercing. And it is a discerner. Amen. God's word is all of that and then some. And we got to understand that if God's word, amen, can move, amen, quickly. God's word is powerful. It can do, amen, and shape and change things and push things to another level. God's word is sharp. It can cut up some things, and, amen, and go deep into some things, piercing, amen. Go some places that you didn't think it could go to. It could go down deep in your heart, your souls, in your spirit, in your mind, everything about you. It, can, it knows, amen, it has a discerning spirit. It knows that even the thoughts and even the intents of your heart, the word of God can even discern and get into the deep in the depths of your mind and your heart amen to get down where amen nobody don't know this there but the word can get in there and sometimes amen my saying you can read the word amen on Monday and you can go back and read that same word on Tuesday and God will give you something else amen even in that word amen even where you done, you done read it and you done recited it over and over again but amen when you go back again God will point something else out to you and show you something else in it because why the word is just like that it, amen it is a piercing amen it is a discerner it is quick it's powerful and it is sharper Isaiah 55 and 11 says so shall not my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto you what void but it will accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing wherewith I sin it the word of God amen ain't go, ain't, ain't, it, it's not like some people word their word is worthless amen they say the people say I give you my word but they don't mean nothing no more these days but honey, when you talk about the word of God, amen, it means what it says. It do what it can do, amen, it'll do what it says, amen. It has, amen, the power, amen, and it does, amen, the word of God is right. Yeah, some people tell you something, it'll be totally wrong. Amen, they had you going down the wrong street, amen. Yeah, they had you going down the wrong, even, even uh, the GPS on my phone yesterday when I was coming back, amen, from Ada, and I, I know amen what it said but I just put it on there and it told me that exit 26 is where I get off at I say exit 26 but I was ain't got no exit 26 I know uh, I know I'm building interstate that much <laughs> and I ain't been. I said no it's exit 29 well I need to get off at I'm trying to get the food line amen and uh, I ain't trying to go no exit I ain't trying to go in the woods nowhere hey, amen ain't no exit 26 but if, uh, but if it was somebody that didn't know no better yeah, didn't live in Valdez. Didn't know they they've been still looking for exit 26, but it's still when I got to 29, they told me to get off. See, it, but it was it was it was saying, "Amen, the wrong exit," but it was giving me the right direction. And some people can, "Amen," give you the wrong information sometimes and lead you round the wrong road. They can give you the wrong word, "Amen." But thanks be unto God, the God word, amen, don't go out void. It won't return void. It, 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 it is valuable. It is necessary. It, the Bible says it will accomplish what it is supposed to do, and it shall prosper you. Whatever you go into, it's going to help you. It's going to bless you. It's going to put you, amen, at another step and at a, another level. Why? Because John 1 and 1 says, uh, in the beginning was the word. Yeah, in other words, before you came here, it was here. When you leave here, it's going to be here. Amen. In the beginning was the word, and the word was what? With God. Amen. He brought it with him. Amen. It was here when he got here. Then he brought it with him some more. Then he, then he said the word was God. 
Amen. Another word. Amen. You're going to get the word at the beginning. You're going to get it in the middle. You're going to get it leaving. Amen. Here, there, everywhere. The word was there. And I'm so glad that I got the word wherever I need the word. I ain't got to be at the church house to get the word. I can get the word coming and I can get the word going. Yeah. You can, you can be walking, amen, down the hallway in the word. Amen. God will put a word in you. Amen. God will send a word to you. Amen. Amen. Somebody can pass by and say something and God will put that word out there for you. Amen. To encourage you, to uplift you, to strengthen you, to help you what you're going through. Amen. You can be in a conversation with somebody and they can be talking about something and they don't know what you're going through. But amen. But God can give them something to say to you that amen. A, amen. Pinpoint what you're going through and your situation and give you a word for your journey. I'm so glad the word is so powerful like that, that God put the word down in us. And then Isaiah 40, and they said, the grass withered, the flower will fade. But the word of God, uh, the word of God, our God, the word of God will stand forever. The word will stand forever. Some people's word don't stand no time. They say one thing today and change it tomorrow. Amen. They one way in front of you and they're another way behind your back. Amen. And some of them have the desert to lie right in your face. No, you lying. No, you lie. I mean, no, you lying. Yeah, me and my wife got an old co-worker that we work with. And every time he called me, I answer the phone sometimes. You know, I answer sometimes. I'm just being honest. I answer sometimes because half of the time he going to tell me a lie. He going to tell me some outlandish story. Amen. That ain't no ain't no way in the world. Amen. Ain't no way in the world you doing all that. Ain't no. <laughs> I took a look at more. I said, he go lying again. <laughs> you just can't believe that he say. You can't believe that he say. He had you going down and looking for some. Told told somebody one time in a high position. Amen. You I say it, told a judge one time in a high position that he lived somewhere down there in a the neighborhood in Florida that was exclusive. He had a house down there and the judge, he had a house too. And he went looking for him. And he couldn't find that house. <laughs> but I'm coming to tell you, the people were, people sometimes they'll just lie. They word there ain't no truth to their word. Amen. You can't trust that word. You can't put no value in that word. But God word, amen, it says that sustain. The word of God will stand forever. And I'm glad that long story short, sometimes all you need is one word from the Lord. Yeah, heaven and earth shall pass away, but by words shall not pass away. Amen. God's word ain't going to pass away. It's going it to take you through. It's going to be with you at all times. And then it reminds us, Brother Ball, in John 15, 7, said, If ye abide in me, and my word shall abide in you, ye shall what? ask what you will, and I sh it shall be done. Amen. In other words, you stick with the word, and it will stick with you. It will take you places and produce you overflow blessing if you just stay with the word. Just abide in the word. And let the word abide in you. And God said, if you just ask what you will, it shall be done. Just stay in the word. That's all you got to do, just stay in the word. And abide in the word. If you just stay in the word, don't stay in the gossip. Yeah, don't stay in what the, amen, the street committee is saying. Y'all don't hear me. But if you just abide in the word of God and let God word abide in you, amen, and you can get in a place where you can ask God for something, God will get the moving for you. Amen. He'll bring it to pass and say, and it shall be done. Amen. John 8, 31 says, Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue, if you continue in my word, if you continue in the word. See, sometimes people want to use the word one time and just walk off. But you got to continue the word. You just can't use it when, amen, when it's convenient for you. You can't, you can't use it just on Sunday morning. But when you get them that job and they're raising all kinds of sin, you got to continue in the word. When somebody gets on your nerve and, amen, your, your old flesh want to go back to some ways, you got to go continue in the word. When somebody under you on the road and you're driving down the road and somebody cuts you off, amen, you just got to what? Continue. In the word, when you got them family members that, amen, doing what they doing, they ain't got no business doing what they doing. You got to what? Continue in the word, amen. When there's pain rocking in your body, yeah, you got to continue in the word. When your finances, amen, ain't looking too good, your change is looking strange, you got to continue in the word. Y'all don't hear me this morning. You got to learn how to continue in the word. Just don't use it at one time, basically, but use it consistently over and over and over again. Let it get down 
in you, amen, that you can use it, amen, when, it, when, when things happen in your life, amen, you have to revert back to the word, continue in the word. When things, amen, come your way, you have to remember that what the word of God say, continue in the word, amen. You have to, amen, go back in the word, but you ain't got no word. If you ain't got no word, if you ain't in the word, amen, you ain't got no word, you ain't got nothing to pull from, but if you got some word in you, y'all don't hear me. Somebody know what I'm talking about. When you get in a situation, you get in a circumstance, the spirit of God will put that word, amen, the word of God will come to your mind and it'll come to your remembrance. It'll stir up something in you to bring back some things to you and it'll let you know, hey, baby, it's going to be all right because the word said this, the word says this, the word, amen, proclaim this, the word announces this, the word reminds me of this, the word, amen, put this down in my heart put this down in my spirit the word brought this back to my remembrance y'all ain't called that yet but you continue the word the word can do something for you to work for you then he said you are my disciples indeed and you shall know the truth and the truth shall what make you free in the word continue in the word let the word amen colossians 3 16 let the word of god dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another let it dwell in you let it get in you get good in you See, the word ought to be in just like your man. You can't listen relatives. They ought to be in you just like that. They know you are, they know you are Johnson. They can look at you and tell you a Johnson. Amen. They can see you walking. They know you are Johnson. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all, y'all can see some chilling and y'all know that that's one of them. That's one of them. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's a hard, amen. That's a hard, amen. I can look at uh, Deacon Roy Head and I say, that's a hard head, amen, amen. And I can look at one of his other cousins, I say, he got, he got, that's a hard, that's another hard head, yeah. Them, 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 them hard head, them, you know, they got their head the same way, you know, you know what I'm saying? They, they, you can look at people, you can look at their nose and say, yeah, that's them, that's that family nose, they got that family nose, yeah, yeah. You know how grandmama used to do this, you can look at them and say, honey, that, that's one up, but honey, I don't know about that one right there now. I don't know about that one. You might have to get that checked out. You know, they, you know, they, you know, they, them old folks can tell it. They can, they say, no, ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't, they don't look nothing like us. They don't walk like us. They don't, they don't favor us. They ain't, you know, they don't, they, they ain't got no characteristics of us. They, they don't associate with us. They, honey, I don't know where you got that one from, but honey, you better, you better check that. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. My grandmama can smell them and tell them they, they can't tell you not. Amen. See what they was about. Y'all, y'all ain't caught me yet. But honey, when you, when you, when you, amen, when you like God, you like minded, you in the word, Amen. You ought to look like the word. You ought to talk like the word. You ought to walk like the word. Amen. You ought to breathe the word. Amen. When somebody see you coming, they ought to say, that child, that's a child of God. They, they look like they full of the word of God. They look like they're walking in the word. They believe in the word. They breathe in the word. And you got to be in the word of God. You got to let the word of God dwell in you what richly. Let it dwell in you richly. And let it teach you and admonish you some things. Because when you get the word, you'll learn some things. See, when you get word, you're teachable. And you learn some things. Amen. You know, so you know, sometimes you can tell people when they got home training. When they ain't got none. Y'all will catch that later. Amen. You can tell when they got, amen, manners. Y'all will hear me. Can I help some of y'all? Amen. Some of y'all, amen, y'all need to tell y'all neighbors. I ain't talking about nobody, but tell your neighbors, amen. They may be in the train, they chilling before they get to school. Yeah. Teach their children before they get to school. Amen. Teach them manners before they get to school. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Don't wait. They get to school at the school. Because school ain't got time to teach them that. They ought to know that before they leave the house. Amen. Amen. They ought to know yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am, and no, sir, and no, sir. They ought to know when an adult talk to them, they need to listen and pay attention and sit down and do what they're supposed to do. But honey, they, sometimes they ain't, we ain't teach them nothing. But they can get on that, get on that dance floor and boogie boogie to the, all them other songs. Amen. They can know them songs by heart and they don't know how to spell. Don't even know their name. Y'all don't hear me. I ain't know what I heard or what I know. They don't even know their name, but they know them rap songs and all the words of the song. Baby, what's your name? You got them on the, you got them on the bus and they get on the bus. You talking about where you, where you live? Uh, who your, uh, uh, uh. they don't know. They don't, they, I'm telling you the truth. But they know everything else. They, but they need to learn who their mama and daddy is. What's your mama name? Mama? Y'all don't hear me. They need to know some things. Y'all don't, yeah, amen. And you, they only know the ABC. They don't know, they only know their whole name. All they, they, some of them, they just know their nickname, Nuki or, or Pookie or, or Wookie or whatever. Y'all don't hear me. I'm just telling you the truth now. But you need to, you need to, you need to train them and teach them, amen. And we need to be teachable, folks. See, sometimes we get, we, we don't want to be a teach. We want to shout, we want to dance, we want to jump and holler. But then when they come down to teaching, we don't want that. 
We need to be taught sometimes. We need to be sat down and talk and, and, and talk to sometime and explain some things. Amen. We we turn the TV off. Amen. We we don't want to hear that. We don't want to get that teachable. God need a we need a teachable moment. Yeah, amen. We need a teachable moment. You know, I talk sometimes about the fivefold ministry. Talk about the apostles. Talk about the amen. The prophet. Talk about the evangelists. Talk about the pastor. Talk about the teachers. Amen. The fivefold ministry. The apostle touch every finger on your hand. It touches all of the ministries. The amen finger here. The prophet. Amen. Proclaiming. Prophesy. The evangelist is the longest finger. The ring finger is the covenant finger for the pastor in the church. And then the short finger is the teaching finger. The shortest thing that we get is teaching. It's teaching. As long as I'm saying, ooh, y'all all right then. But when I go to teaching, you're like, Jesus. Jesus. But we need teaching. Yeah, we need teaching. We need to catch the let because in that, in that teaching you can get one nugget that can help you down the road. That can give you the breakthrough that you need from God. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to understand that God's word dwells in us. Let me get out of here this morning. Second Samuel twenty two thirty one. As for God, his way is work perfect. And the word of the Lord is what tried. The word of the Lord is tried. And uh, some people, you, you, they ain't tried. They ain't went through nothing. They ain't been tested. Amen. They, they ain't got no record. They ain't got no history. But the word of God been tried. It got some history. You can go from Genesis to Revelation. It got some history. It can show you what the word can do. It show you how the word said. In that word, the word of God said, when God said, let that be, it was. That's the word. And when God said, I am, he says, I am that I am. That's the word. And God has proven himself time and time and time again. The word proves itself. The word has been tried. It's been tested. It's gone through some things. For the word is a lamp to my feet. Woo! And a light to my pathway. And in other words, when it get dark sometimes, you need the word to light it up for you and get you through something where you can see your way out of it. And then David said, I hear the word have I hid in my heart that I what might not sin against you. I got the word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And then it lets us know that thou art my hiding place, my shield. I hope in thy word. I got hope in the word of God. Anybody got hope in the word of God? of God. And then Romans 10 17 says, so then that faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. You got to hear the word. You got to hear the word. Amen. Increase and strengthen your faith. I come by to tell you on this morning that long story short. Sometimes all you need is one word from the Lord. That's all you need is one word from the Lord. When you're going through something, all you need is to hear your word from the Lord. That you know the Lord is my light. In my salvation. That's a word from the Lord. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? That's the word from the Lord. When you say, nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. That's hearing the word from the Lord. Romans 8, 28 say, when not, when we know that all things work together for our good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. That's the word from the Lord. It says, Philippians, I can do all things through Christ. That strengthened me. That's the word from the Lord. Amen. Isaiah 40 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk in, not faint. That's the word from the Lord. I'm glad sometimes all I need is one word from the Lord. And I can read in God's word of Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want her. Just a word from the Lord. And he closes out, amen, in verse number six. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's a word from the Lord. And sometimes God can use people and things to give us a word when we need to hear a word from the Lord. Long story short, sometimes all you need is one word from the Lord. If you need a word from the Lord, somebody said you couldn't read. But God said, I show you a word through Floyd Mayweather and Fantasia. Amen. That's all you need is a word from the Lord. Somebody said I was homeless. And God showed you a word through Tyler Perry and Tiffany Haddish. All you need was a word from the Lord. You said you thought you couldn't get past a dark place in your life. Well, God said, I showed you a word 
through Jennifer Hudson. Huh? That all you need was a word from the Lord. Huh? You said you were nothing but a drug addict, huh? but I showed you a word through Samuel L. Jackson. All you need huh, was a word from the Lord. Huh? You said your appearance would hinder you from your opportunities, huh? but I showed you a word through Lizzo. Amen. Because, uh, amen, all you need was a word from the Lord. Huh? You said you were molested and mistreated, huh? but I showed you a word through Oprah Winfrey, but all you need uh, was a word from the Lord. Huh? You said you had, amen, cancer, but I showed you, amen, you can beat cancer. I showed you a word through Robin Roberts, huh? amen, that, that a word from the Lord. Huh? You said it was, your life was over huh? and because you had HIV and AIDS, huh? but I showed you a word through Magic Johnson. Huh? Just one word from the Lord. Huh? You said the odds were against you huh? because you was adopted, but I showed you a word through Nelson Mandela, that all you need was a word from the Lord. You said you was you weren't strong enough to persevere, but I showed you a word through Chadwick Bozeman that all you need is a word from God. You said you couldn't leave the streets. You said you couldn't leave the streets, but I showed you a word through Jay-Z, a word from the Lord. You said you were cheated and owned and you was crushed, but I showed you a word through Beyonce. Amen. Just a word from the Lord. You said your father that wasn't around you, your mom struggled, huh? but I show you through a word, LeBron James uh, from the Lord. Huh? You said you came from mixed kids uh, and never really fit in, huh? but I showed you a word through Barack Obama, huh? a word from the Lord. Huh? You said you were too old and your time was up, huh? but I showed you a word through Tiger Woods. Huh? You said you should give up huh? after losing the biggest opportunity of your life, huh? but I showed you a word huh? through Stacey Abrams. Huh? Yeah, you said you grew up in a public house and you should, amen, but I showed you a word through Raphael Warnock. I showed you a word. You said, amen, no one would listen to you because of your speech impediment, but I showed you a word through Amanda Gorman. Yeah, you said no woman, that no woman will ever rise higher than that. It wouldn't go further, but I showed you a word through Kamala Harris. I showed you a word. You said you were nobody, a nobody with Without anybody and everybody overlook you because they thought you were somebody. Amen. But I come to tell you, I showed you a word through Pastor Charles E. Vincent. I come to tell you that God will show you a word at the right time in the right place. And I'm glad that he showed you a word through these examples. And long story short, sometimes all you need is one word from from the Lord huh, that can tell you huh, that you can make it, huh, that can tell you huh, that you can succeed, huh, that can tell you huh, that you can get up out the valley, huh, that can tell you huh, you can do, turn loose your struggle, huh, that can tell you huh, that God will huh, turn it around for you. Huh, just one word huh, from the Lord, huh, that's all I need, huh, is just one word huh, from God on high huh, to let me know huh, that everything huh, going to be all right. Uh, everything uh, gonna be all right uh, just one word uh, from the Lord uh, just one word uh, from God uh, just one word uh, to hear from the throne of God uh, I'm so glad uh, I'm so glad uh, that Jesus uh, gave us a word uh, Jesus uh, gave us a word uh, his head uh, his Jesus uh, gave uh, his head to the crown uh, Jesus uh, gave uh, his back to the cross. Uh, Jesus uh, gave uh, his hands to the nails. Uh, Jesus uh, gave uh, his feet to the rivets. Uh, Jesus uh, gave uh, his side to the spear. Uh, Jesus uh, gave uh, his mother to John. Uh, Jesus uh, didn't gave John uh, to his mother. Uh, Jesus uh, gave his spirit uh, unto God. Uh, Jesus uh, gave his body uh, unto the grave. Uh, but early uh, Sunday morning, uh, he got up uh, and said, All power uh, is in my hand uh, in heaven 
heaven and in earth. And I come to tell you, I'm glad, I'm glad that he gave us a word. I'm glad that he gave us a word. He said, I am the light, I am the way, I am the truth. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I'm the one, I am that I am. I'm your way out, I'm your deliverer, I'm your healer, I'm your friend, I'm your God, I'm your power, I'm your peace, I'm your joy. Just one word from the Lord will make a difference. Just one word from the Lord will turn it around. Just one word from the Lord will take your dark and make it light. Just one word from the Lord will cause peace to come in your storm. Just one word from the Lord will bring your children home. Just one word from the Lord will get you out of the sick bed. Just one word from the Lord will help you pay your bills. Just one word from the Lord uh, will put a praise uh, in your mouth, uh, a clap uh, in your hand, uh, a leap uh, in your body. Uh, just one word. Uh, is there anybody here uh, on this morning? Uh, I got to get out of here, uh, but do you need a word uh, from the Lord? Uh, just one word. Just one word uh, from the Lord. Uh, Lord, uh, Lord. Uh, Talk to me, Lord, give me a word. I'm down here, Lord, waiting on you. I can't do nothing until you come. I can't do nothing until you show up. I can't do nothing until you work it out. I can't do nothing until you shift it. I can't do nothing until you shift it. I can't do nothing until you shift it. Anybody need a word? Had the Lord ever gave you one? Did he give you one? Did it do something for you? Did it make a difference in your life? One word, one word from the Lord. He said weeping, that was one word. They endure for a night. But joy, 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 joy cometh in the morning. That's one word, one word. One word, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me on this Jesus journey. Lord, lead me, guide me, be with me. Oh, thy great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. All I need is one word, one word, one word, one word. From the Lord, everything, everything, everything will be all right, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. I'm closing, y'all. I got to get out of here. But I feel all right right there. Sometimes, whew, long story short, sometimes all you need is one word, one word, one word, one word from the Lord. Jesus was at the pool and he told a man to take up. That's all he needed to hear was take up. Take up your bed and walk. Just one word, one word, one word. Told the woman at the well, one word, one word. Told Lazarus at the grave, one word. He got up from the grave. I stopped by to tell somebody on this morning, I'm looking for that one word. I'm expecting that one word. I'm looking for God to give me that one word to let me know that everything gonna be all right, all right. 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, one word, one word from the Lord, one word, somebody need to hear on this morning, one word, one word, one, one, just one word, one word, one word to change your situation, one word to turn it around, one word to pull you out the valley, one word to help you along the way, one word, y'all don't hear me, one word, yeah. Yeah, 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 and Hallelujah. Long story short, sometimes all you need is one word from the Lord. That's all you need is one word from the Lord. The Lord talked to David when they come and destroy the city. But David got one word from the Lord. God told him to go and pursue after them. That's all he needed was one word from the Lord. And God did the rest. Woo. Hallelujah. Some of y'all waiting on a word from somebody. Don't wait on the word from nobody else. They, they might mess you up, my son. They might mess you up. Deacon, you better wait on the word from the Lord. You better wait on the word from the Lord. Because folks will push you out there. And walk off and leave you out there. But God give you that one word. Just walk in it. And when you walk in it, God will make a way out of no way. That's all he needed. One word. Moses was standing at the Red Sea. And all he needed was one word from the Lord. God said, what's that in your hand? Stretch it out. That's all he had to do was stretch it out. Woo, hallelujah. And God did the rest. Good God. The rest is it's in, the book, it's in the history book. Now, the rest is in the history book. And when, they, when all the God people got crossed the water, got crossed the Red Sea. Woo. And all God did the rest. It's brought the water back together. It said, them same folks that you see today, you won't see no more. Woo. Somebody said, how God was going to do that? They didn't know how he was going to do it. But God did it. He got them all up there behind the children of Israel. All of them got up there in the water. Right behind them. We're following behind them. But when they got crossed, when the last saint got crossed, that's all God wants you to just, you be the last one to get crossed. And the mother folks that try to do you in, God will take care of that. Don't worry about it. Don't look back, y'all. Don't look back. God will take care of Woo. Don't you do it, no. Don't you try to do nothing to him. Let God do it. And God caused the water to come back together and drown every last one of them in the Red Sea. Good God of mine. I wish I could have been there. Woo. When, I, when they walked across on dry ground. Because of one word. God blew a hack I don't know how he did it, but he did it. They didn't walk in no mud. They ain't messed with their, new, they, their sandals and their feet didn't get dirty. But they walked across on dry ground. They didn't get stuck in the mud. But God did it. Just one word. That's all we need. Y'all let me get out of here. I'm, Abraham going to get me. I'm five minutes over. I gave him five minutes last Sunday. I had to take it back this Sunday. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. On the day the doors of the church open, but there might be one that don't know the Lord and the partner that's sin. You need, you need salvation. You don't have a church home. You want to make my carry your church home where you come. Come as a candidate for baptism. Come under Christian experience. Come as a candidate for baptism. Amen. Come by letter. Come under Christian experience. Today is your day. Just one word from the Lord. The Lord has said, come, come, come. Come be a part of this great church called Mount Calvary. We've been here over 150 something years. And God is yet still blessing. God is yet still moving. And there's one that not saved. You need to come. We'll pray with you. We'll lead you through the sinner's prayer. You might be watching in virtual land. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for all my sins and my transgression. Lord, I'm godly sorry for all the wrong I did. Lord, save me. Lord, receive me into your kingdom. I want to be your child. I want to walk in your path. 
I want to do those things that are pleasing in your sight. I receive you as my Savior into my heart, my mind, my soul, and my spirit for the rest of the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Is that one don't have a church home? Amen. Need a church home. There's one that's not safe. Will you come? Amen. God bless you. Heaven keep you. Is our prayer. If they ain't the first time visits with us on this morning, will you raise your hand? In the first time visits with us on this morning. Amen. I don't want to overlook anyone in the first time visits with us this morning. Amen. God bless you. So glad to see you this morning. May heaven keep you. Is our prayer. Amen. Don't forget those that are part of the single ministry and a part of the purity ministry and part of the kitchen ministry. Please on tomorrow meet on the conference call planning meeting at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. For the conference call planning meeting for the Spotlight Wednesday Night Live service for September. God bless you and keep you is our prayer. Father, we thank you. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor for this blessed day. The things you've done, things you continue to do. How you continue to move by your power, by your spirit, and by your anointing. Bless teacher people, God, that are here in person. Bless those that are watching in virtual land. God, heal, set free, deliver, right now, God. Turn things around. Make a way out of no way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, oh God. Do great and awesome things. And God, we give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. And we give your name the honor. Bless those that are giving them the tithe and the offering, oh God, on today. Return it back to them 100 for Bless those that have the desire to give and don't have it, God. And give it, bless them to give on the next time. For the building of your kingdom, God. We give your name the praise and your glory. Look on those on the prayer list, those that are sick, those that are shut in, those that are bereaved, God. Just heal, set free, deliver right now, God. Touch them in a special way and move in a great way. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule on the body of you. Henceforth, now and forever. And all of God's people say, Amen. 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 Tell them, long story short, Amen. Sometimes all you need is a word from the Lord.